In this tip of the week, we will look at new features for Turnitin and my classes for the fall 2018 semester. Specifically, we will explore the new integration for Turnitin that reduces common problems with Turnitin assignments and allows faculty to use Turnitin with group and peer review assignments. A new gradebook view for faculty provides more flexibility and will be available for all courses starting with winter and spring 2019 courses. Try out the new gradebook now in preparation for spring. Faculty can assign due dates to pages and non-graded discussions for display on the student to-do list, which is a new dashboard view for students. Faculty can duplicate modules as well as attach non-scoring rubrics to assignments. And within the calendar, there is a new scheduler as well as the ability to duplicate calendar events. The new Canvas plagiarism framework allows for our Turnitin integration to take advantage of all features of a Canvas assignment. When creating or modifying an existing Turnitin assignment, Change the submission type to online and select text entry, file uploads, or both. In the plagiarism review section, select turn it in from the drop down box and adjust the remainder of the turn it in settings. With this new integration, group assignments can be submitted to turn it in as well as assignments using peer reviews. For more information, see our Creating a Turnitin Assignment Tip of the Week from August 2018. A new gradebook view will be coming to all winter and spring 2019 courses. Faculty can test out this new gradebook now by enabling this feature option from the Settings area within a course. The new gradebook allows faculty to see unpublished assignments within the gradebook, filter and organize the gradebook by modules, due dates, assignment groups, etc. For courses within multiple sections combined into one course area, filter the gradebook by section, and establish late and missing grading policies, such as automatically assigning a zero for missed assignments. The new gradebook was highlighted in our What's New for Spring 2018 tip of the week and will be enabled in all winter and fall 2019 courses. Students will often tell us that they missed something because it was not on their to-do list, such as signing up for a speech topic. A new feature will allow you to add dates to pages and non-graded assignments that will appear on the student's to-do list. When adding a page or a non-graded discussion, select the checkbox for Add to Student To-Do. Select the desired date and then click Save. Students have a new list dashboard view that will organize to-do items across all courses in an agenda-style list. The Customizing Your Dashboard View Student Tip of the Week explains this new view for students in more details. Within the past year, Canvas has provided faculty with the ability to duplicate pages, assignments, and discussions. Now you can duplicate an entire module and various items within that module. To duplicate a module, select the Options icon to the right of the module name and select Duplicate. The entire module, as well as items within the module, will be duplicated and ready for you to edit. Duplicated items will have the word Copy appended to the titles. Rubrics are a great way to provide students with feedback based on their assignment, and now there is also the ability to use non-scoring rubrics within an assignment. After a rubric is attached to the assignment or discussion, edit the rubric and select the option to remove points from the rubric and click Update Rubric. When grading in SpeedGrader, you can enter the number of points for the grade and select the various criteria in the rubric to provide feedback. Two new features involve the calendar. 
First, faculty can duplicate calendar events. For example, if you want to add your office hours to the course calendar, select Calendar, then the plus icon. Select the Event tab and enter the details for the office hours. Click on More Options. At the bottom of the Create Event page, click the checkbox to duplicate. Select the options for when the event should be repeated, in this example every week, and the number of occurrences. Then click Create Event. The office hours are now added to the calendar for each week and can be treated individually. The second calendar feature is the new scheduler, which allows you to use the calendar to set up appointments. For example, in the CMAT 100 class, students are to sign up for virtual mock interviews. To set up an appointment group, click the plus icon, select the Appointment Groups tab, enter the name for the appointment group, location, and the appropriate sections. Enter the days and, and the beginning and ending time periods for the appointment group. Use the Divide into Equal Slots option to break up the appointments. In this case, each appointment will be 20 minutes. Adjust the settings for the additional options, such as limiting each time slot to one person. Return to the Divide options and click Go to create the individual appointment times. You can then remove individual appointments, such as the 12, 12.20, and 12.40 p.m. appointments, so that you can eat lunch. After all is modified, click Publish. Students would then go into the calendar and on the right click Find Appointment. The next available appointment window will appear and they can click on the date to take them to that month. The student would select the desired time of the appointment to open the appointment details. Scroll to the bottom and then click Reserve. Back on the faculty view, appointments that have been filled are bold, while those still left to be scheduled are faded. Faculty can hover over the appointment to see what student signed up for that time slot. Be on the lookout for more features during the semester as Canvas provides updates every three weeks. Thank you for watching this tip of the week. For more information, please refer to the following guides.